In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the Line Info section of Bet Labs. When you first open Line Info, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of filters. However, many of these filters are the same filter in two different formats. The two different formats are Range and List. For example, let's take a look at Spread Range. As the name Range implies, you are selecting a range of values for the closing spread. You can move the endpoints on the number line with your mouse, or you can type in whatever numbers that you want to use. We'll close this filter. Let's look at the same filter in list form, in this case, spread list. In this format, you can pick and choose which values you would like to select. Again, you can sort using any of the headers. So you can sort by spread and select certain values if you'd like. This is especially helpful in football when you can select key numbers or numbers around key numbers. The filters work the exact same way for money line and totals. Let's use money line range and again you can select your endpoints using the range button or you could go to the list filter and do it that way. There's also a shortcut by clicking list view in the top right corner and that'll switch it over to the list view for the money line. If you don't want to use closing lines in your system you can also use opening lines. As you can see there are many filters that use the opening line instead of the closing line. These filters work the exact same way as the closing lines do. The other types of filters found within line info involve line movement. Let's look at spread change open to close. You can always read the about filter to see how the value is calculated. In this case a positive number means the line got better for the team you're betting on and a negative number means the line got worse for the team that you are betting on. Again you can use the graph below to help highlight profitable ranges and even Move your cursor over each data point to see the record. Here we see that 2.5 would be a good endpoint, so we'll type that in. And for the leftmost endpoint, we'll hit negative 2.5. Update the record and hit Save Filter. That concludes this tutorial on line info. Just remember, there's two formats for each filter, a range or a list, and we're usually looking at either the closing line or the opening line. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at public betting data, which uses historical betting trends tracked from real sportsbooks to build systems.